Hello, I'm Dr. Alveda King. My uncle, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once famously remarked that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. His words echoed throughout the country when he spoke and they shaped the course of American history. His message remains true to this day. So I want to use the voice God has given me to bring attention to an injustice unfolding before our very eyes. This week, America was horrified to see photos that revealed the mutilated bodies of unborn babies, macabre trophies, some of which were fully formed and possibly killed after birth, which were being stored in a Washington, D.C. apartment. Added to this, earlier this week, Colorado Governor Jared Polis signed into law one of the most radical pro-abortion bills in the history of our country. The bill, which is deceptively titled the Reproductive Health Equity Act, actually declares that unborn babies in the womb have no human rights whatsoever and instead enshrines a fundamental right to abortion in state law all the way up to the point of birth. Both are stark reminders to Americans everywhere of the abortion industry's extreme radicalism. Their demands have grown more and more outrageous as time goes on, even to the point of defending the most sickening of discoveries in the name of women's rights. Unfortunately, their pro-abortion extremism shows no signs of stopping and there is no depravity that they will not defend. This bill and the bodies are vile injustices and abortion remains the greatest stain on America's soul. As science continues to accumulate in support of the pro-life cause, we also remember the truths that were told long before the invention of the microscope or the ultrascan machine. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart, says the Lord. And as his voice today, we are called to use our resources to protect the least among us. One stroke of Governor Policy's pen has sealed the fate of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of unborn lives. All one blood, one human race, all of whom are unique individuals formed by our Creator in God's own image and likeness. However, all is not lost. We are winning this fight, and there is light at the end of the tunnel. Pregnancy resource centers are trumping abortion mills. In Oklahoma, an abortion ban has passed both chambers of the state legislature and is headed to Governor Stitt's desk for his signature. In Mississippi, the Dobbs case is gaining momentum. And in Texas, Florida, and around the nation, heartbeat bills are mounting. We have a duty to stand for them, stand for truth, and stand for life. Let us pray for courage and wisdom in our leaders in the days ahead and continue to hold our heads high and fight for what is most fundamental, the right to life. Thank you and God bless you.